4. Planet Earth is constantly changing. It always has and always will. Look down on the planet at any given point in the year and it will look different. Extraordinary changes brought on by the passing seasons can be seen all across the Earth's surface. Rain transforms the California desert. In New England, fall changes the landscape from green to russet red. Heavy snowfall covers almost all of the British Isles. But some seasonal changes are more dramatic and unexpected. In some places, these seasonal changes are so dramatic that surviving them is a challenge. Each winter, these islands in Japan turn from green to bright white one of the deepest snowfalls anywhere on Earth. Trees are transformed into snow sculptures. It takes powerful machines to clear the mountain pass above the city of Toyama, creating walls of snow 60 feet high. For one forest species, such a complete change in the landscape requires an equally radical survival strategy. A solitary squirrel. At just a fifth the size of a common gray squirrel, this female is small enough to fit in the palm of a hand. These squirrels spend their days alone in the treetops. Being light allows her to reach nutritious buds at the very tips of branches. At this time of year, there's very little to eat. The deep snow makes moving along the forest floor almost impossible. But she has a strategy. A membrane that stretches between their front and back legs allows these Siberian flying squirrels to glide up to 60 feet from tree to tree in search of food. But even with this useful adaptation, it's a struggle to consume enough calories to keep warm. Until recently, scientists weren't sure how such a small mammal survived in such hostile conditions. Until they discovered that this squirrel changes its behavior Throughout much of the year, flying squirrels are solitary animals. But in winter, she can't generate enough body heat on her own. So another female in her territory is her chance to survive.
the new female is welcomed into her den. They'll spend the winter together, sharing body heat to survive the cold. Parting ways when the island, once again, transforms. Life on Earth has learned to adapt to these seasonal changes. But Earth's climate is changing, making its seasons more unpredictable. In Africa, snow falls in the Sahara. While in Bolivia, Lake Pupo's waters, once stretched for over 1,200 square miles, now, partly due to severe drought, they've all but disappeared. The view from space also gives us a brand new perspective. It's only from space that we can see the scale of the damage. Large brown areas are left behind. Huge burn scars covering over 350,000 acres. With the help of satellites, we can now react to changes on the ground faster than ever before. And from above, satellites can safely monitor one of the fastest geological forces of change on the planet. Volcanoes. In the kingdom of Tonga in the South Pacific, two islands become one. An underwater volcano formed new land in a matter of days. But more often than not, volcanoes are destructive. In 2018, Guatemala's Mount Fuego came to life. Surrounding neighborhoods were decimated by mud flows. These catastrophic events cannot be stopped. But the view from above allows us to safely monitor them and, crucially, react. In the heart of South America lies Cotopaxi, one of the world's highest volcanoes. Still active, if Cotopaxi were to blow, its glaciers would melt, causing a tidal wave of mud so huge it could reach the ocean over 60 miles away. A potential disaster for one animal living in its path. The population was discovered living only here. But these frogs are in trouble. Satellite technology detected activity on Cotopaxi, invisible from the ground. The sides of the volcano were swelling. As magma moved closer to the surface, the local population was alerted. The volcano was waking. For the rocket frog, an eruption would wipe out her species entirely. But this frog has other things on her mind.
It's breeding season. And she needs to find a mate. A nearby male is doing his very best to attract her attention. But something's not quite right. She's been duped. Her captor? Biologist Dr. Santiago Ron. As satellites captured the first smoke erupting from Cotopaxi's crater, Dr. Ron's rescue mission was already underway to save this species from possible extinction. She has been taken to the Balsa de los Sapos, the life raft for frogs, where she can be kept safely out of the volcano's path. Dr. Ron and his team have dedicated their lives to securing the future of Ecuador's amphibians. Over 2,000 individuals from 50 different species live here, including a male rocket frog. The hope is that this special pair might breed. With the help of a dedicated team, these frogs are securing the future of this endangered species. As Cotopaxi smokes, satellites are monitoring its movement, giving us advance warning should the volcano finally blow. The changing seasons and geological forces have been altering the surface of our planet since its very beginning. Now there is a more rapid and dramatic force at work. Looking down from above, we can see the effect that we are having on the planet. Humans now inhabit almost every coal pits fan out in Germany. Since the end of the 19th century, our planet has warmed by at least 1.4 degrees, enough to dramatically affect one of our greatest natural resources. Glaciers. Huge bodies of ice. In Alaska, Bear Glacier runs for 13 miles down the valley. Before it breaks up where it meets the ocean. The movement of glaciers is so slow, they almost appear static. But by combining satellite images taken over years, we can see that the ice is retreating. Over 30 years, more than 12 miles of ice has been lost from Alaska's Columbia Glacier. But in the past three decades, the view from space has started to change. Chimborazo is losing its ice. One man, living in its foothills, 
knows this all too well. Balthazar is an ice harvester. For generations, his family has collected glacial ice from the mountain to sell to the towns and villages below. to be one of 40 working here. He's now the very last one. As the glacier melts, he's had to climb higher and higher to find the ice. to measure the change in the depth of the ice. Between 1986 and 2013, 21% of Chimborazo's ice disappeared. Its glaciers are melting. Glaciers act as the world's water towers. The effect could be severe. For Balthazar, this could be the end of the only way of life he's ever known. In the old days, he delivered ice to towns all over the region. But now he supplies just a handful of local cafes. Hello. who, like him, believe that his ice is the best money can buy. And out into the ocean. All across Indonesia, huge stretches of forest are disappearing to be replaced by rows and rows of palm oil trees. <laughs> 